Hey tubes, Jonathan was wrong here, truth and budget. I need to turn the volume down on my radio. I'm getting some feedback. My phone's plugged in. Anyway, I wanted to talk about something real quick. So this whole China, North Korea thing. Um, there's something very important that is easily researched about this, about this whole thing. And that is that they don't have the technology required to do any of the things that they are supposedly going to be blamed for, you know, for doing. Uh, they can't... The, China and North Korea, especially North Korea, cannot build rockets. Alright? Um, rocket technology is not, is not something that's just... It's not... You know, people take, take for granted how complicated certain things are and just like oh you know you know uh, you know anyone can uh, build a rocket and uh, it's powerful enough apparently to uh, go to space all right so China supposedly has a space program you know and has you know rockets powerful enough yada 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 they can't they can't build a jet engine powerful enough to take off from an aircraft carrier. The aircraft carriers that they have, which by the way, they can't build engines strong enough to move them, all right? These aircraft carriers are ramped. They have ramps in the front in the front of them so the Chinese airplanes can gain enough lift to take off cuz their engines aren't powerful enough. Okay? You can look into this. I, I don't mean to sound condescending because I'm I'm not I'm not talking down to you. It's just it's it's just insane that we're told that these people have a space program and that they have all these, you know, these satellites and these rockets and these nuclear capabilities and yada 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 when they can't even make a jet engine powerful enough to take off from an aircraft carrier. How the heck are they getting into space? Space is in quotations because space isn't real anyway. But if it were real, if they can't build an engine powerful enough to 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 get off of an aircraft carrier, how the heck are they getting into space? Please, please explain that to me. They don't have the technology. Nobody did before the Nazis. Little little sidetrack here. The uh, Nazis were in touch with, with, with some dark forces, and they were getting they, they were getting technology from these forces. Um, you can look into this too. At the at the veneer, it's it's basically open information that Hitler was was uh, was an esoteric mysticist. He was uh, he was very into mysticism. H. Uh, P. Blavatsky was a uh, was a um, big inspiration for him. This is this is easily findable information. Uh, at, you know, he was searching for the Spear of Destiny, blah, 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 castles, magic, um, you know, um, uh, you know, he, uh, they used, uh, beautiful women as, um, conduits, channelers, uh, they went into Hollywood. Anyway, um, so, so basically, the, uh, Nazis got, got all... All of a sudden, boom! Jet engines, and it cha it changed the landscape of everything. Um, after World War II, all the uh, rocket scientists uh, went over to NASA, and like I said, all the uh, channelers went over to um, Hollywood. But anyway, um, channeler information is a little bit harder to find, but. Uh, Operation Paperclip is uh, basically de de declassified information at this point. All the Nazi, all the, all the uh, Nazi scientists went to uh, NASA, Na NASA, NASA. But anyway, um, so yada yada yada. Chinese do not have the, the the technology required to do any of this. Even if space were a real thing, they 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 can't build a rocket power powerful enough to get there. Whenever you watch their footage, it's bad CG. China sucks at CG. And the thing is, when you suck at, at, at uh, computer graphics, I mean, okay, think about when, you know, early, uh, you know, when like Shrek 1 came out. Didn't look too bad, right? You know? 
go ahead and watch watch Shrek Shrek One now, and like look how crappy it looks compared to you know the the modern uh, you know uh, uh, computer uh, animated movies. It looks choppy. It looks it looks chunky. It looks awkward. Uh, a lot of uncanny valley. It looks it looks it, it looks like crap by today's standards. That's the thing about computer graphics; they don't age well. Art is always beautiful. Drawings will always be beautiful. Uh, that's why they stopped doing it. They don't want beauty. They want garbage. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so China doesn't know how bad they're um, faking it. They they're not aware at at how crappy their uh, CG looks because they're used to crappy CG. Uh, you could you could watch their 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 rockets take off, and it, it's just the thing's not even vibrating. It's not shaking. It's not shuddering. It's not. It's nothing. It's just. Bleep. It's like I have to I have to return to my home planet now. Goodbye. Bleep. And it just goes straight up, and it's stupid. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they're 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 notorious for uh, bad uh, space footage too. A lot of bubbles. A lot of bubbles in uh, Chinese space. But anyway, look into their uh, aircraft carriers, which, by the way, they can't, they can't move. They're, they're, they're dead in the water. And, uh, th and the fact that they have ramps on the front of them because they can't build jet engines powerful enough. So how are these people, how is this military going to launch rockets into space with, you know, with uh, satellites on them that have EMPs that are going to, you know, toast us? How's that even possible? China's not a threat to anybody. They're, they're operating on like, on like 1970s technology at best. Maybe 1980s. Uh, whereas the, um, Korea is, is operating on 50s uh, level technology. They have garbage. Uh, any of, once again, they don't know how crappy their tech is because they're just used to crappy tech. So when they make, you know, uh, propaganda films and they're showing, they're, they're showing stuff, they're not, they're not aware of how, of how way behind the times all their stuff is. Go ahead and watch some, um, North Korea military propaganda videos. They don't have, they have 1950s technology. They have not gotten any new weapons since the Korean War. All their tech, all their comm, all their um, recon tech, all of it, all their tech is 1950s level. How are they going to hit us with a nuclear rocket? They don't even have an air force, I don't think. Do it, does, does North Korea even, even supposedly have an air force? When you watch their uh, parades with their big rockets, those are clearly not rockets. They're just big silos. They're big. They're they're like they're tankers with like silos on them. Those are not rockets. They're not shaped like rockets. They, those things are not aerodynamic. They would. Those things are just too big and fat. I just spit everywhere to a, to a get off the ground. But they don't understand that because they don't have rocket technology and they don't understand how rockets work. That's the thing about about these countries. They don't when they when they put out their fake BS. They don't have the knowledge. To, to fake it good enough. Look into it. We're we're going we're about to be sold a lie that that China, you know, or Russia for some reason, the, Russia has no reason to attack us. Russia has no claims staked in. Why why would Russia want want to attack America? We don't have anything. They don't need it. They have their own oil reserves. They have their own gold. They have their own everything. They don't. They don't need what what meager garbage we have. They got plenty of everything. Russia has no reason to attack us. They have no reason to do anything towards us. None. There's this, I don't, you know, the whole, I mean, you know, I don't know. At, at the same time, Putin just puts stuff out there all the time, which is great. Um, but anyway, there's just, there's just, there's just no chance or, I mean, sorry, reason 
Uh, you know, so if there's a, you know, if there's a false flag and they say it's China, China doesn't have the technology. Uh, and the only thing, and you know, and we and we owe them money. You know, it's like it's like it's it's like the mob. That they'll, you know, they'll, you know, well, at least how the mob used to be. I, I think they'll just shoot you in the streets now, cause you know whatever. But um, you know, <laughs> you want if someone owes you a ton of money, you you want some of that return back. And if you just kill them and they don't have any stuff to take. You're, you're, you just lost a major, you know, just, you just lost a ton of money. So China wouldn't really want to do that. Uh, if it were anything, it, you know, it'd be some sort of power play, but they don't, they don't got the muscle. So it just, it just wouldn't happen. So China is just, just doesn't have the capabilities to, to, to do anything other than like boat over a ton of troops. That's, that's all China could ever do is boat over a ton of people with like AK-47s and like no body armor. And China, like Asians suck at throwing grenades. Uh, throwing, throwing balls and stuff is just apparently not in their culture. Because I've seen tons of footage of Asians being absolute garbage at throwing grenades. Those troops out of uh, India in, in the uh, Middle East too are, are an absolute joke. They're a bunch of like skinny little uncoordinated, like uh, super effeminate, like half half mental men because they're all like they're all inbred. <laughs> no, no, no. I just like totally dissed on like a, a, a large amount of people, but you know, I guess the people you know that they're rounding up for the military. But uh, some of the uh, footage I've seen is a joke. Like, I'm questioning like whether or not it's real. It's like so bad. Um, but anyway, <laughs> sorry, that got kind of dark for a second. But I don't know. Have you seen that whole that whole like uh, that that whole stupid thing that uh, Pakistan and India does at the end of every day when they close the gates? You know, the uh, between the uh, two countries and they like stamp around and like in like pantaloons <laughs> you like wooden shoes and it's like the least intimidating thing ever they look like a bunch of like fancy boy like like peacock bird things i don't even know it's ridiculous it's a joke it's an absolute joke you know they you know stamp you know lifting their legs and stamping them down real hard to be real intimidating you know nothing scarier than pantaloons and wooden shoes So just to recap, uh, Asia's full of a bunch of effeminate girly boys. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, uh, uh, China does not have the technology to do anything to us. Uh, they cannot reach us. The only threat, uh, to, uh, if they're a threat to anyone, they're they're threat to people in their immediate area, and that's and, and that's only through massive force they they don't have they don't have good weapons uh they got a ton of people with with uh you know fabric on their bodies and like two magazines and you know 50 year old guns you know they're not a threat to anybody um unless you're right next to them um but I, I could think of a billion ways to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, take out mass troops, uh, especially from high altitude. Um, I, I I they they gotta have you know you know high, you know high altitude rod weapons. Like all you gotta do is like drop rebar from like you know five miles up, and uh, that completely lay waste anything under it. Um, even even uh, even uh, you know uh, uh, you know tanks and stuff would get just jammed up you know everything, um, and it it's it'd be extremely inexpensive because all you need would all all you need would is uh, steel rods from a high altitude. You could do the same thing with steel balls. Um, just you know any any sort of metal you know you know obviously something like tungsten would be uh, would be preferable. Uh, you know uh, you know you know tungsten core rods. Uh, you know brass, you know, you know stuff like that. 
But um, you could you 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 could take it, you know, friggin' pig iron and uh, you know drop it from a high altitude, and um, it's not gonna have any signature. Uh, by the time they get any uh, radar on it, it's gonna be like you know already at uh, terminal velocity, and um, you know uh, the there there'd be no real way to uh, to uh, to uh, defend against it. It would just land. Because it's not a it's not a shell you can explode like like a like a tomahawk missile is going to intercept another missile and explode it, um, ex, you know setting up a a a a, a, a missile to explode the uh, falling rods would just cause more cause more flack, um, it, you know wouldn't because it's not a um, it's not a, a delivered charge. But anyway, I'm getting into a ballistics and whatnot. Uh, blah blah blah. But uh, anyway, yeah, there's, there's, you know, there, there, it would, it really, uh, if I were the uh, U.S. military, all the coast would, would be covered in uh, high altitude, uh, you know, dirigible, you know, you know, uh, you know, lighter than air type crafts, way, way the heck up, like I'm talking above the sun, um, you know, full view, uh, you know, you know, uh, interlinked, you know, so you got a full view of the uh, out, you know, you know, you know, whole coast. You know, as far as uh, as far as you can see, all directions, and uh, you know, any 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 large any large amount of anything coming in, you just drop you know thousands upon thousands upon thousands of rods uh, over you know you know accounting for wind and whatnot, which really wouldn't matter much anyway, because um, you know the the rods are going to be uh, aerodynamic. Um, you know, they're just gonna fall straight down. Like, you, like you wouldn't even have to do any machining to them. You just, you just have a have a rolled rolled steel and cut it like a tootsie roll. Boom, done. Ammo. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I would do. So I guarantee that they have those because uh, we already know that they have uh, lighter than air. You know, um, you know, dirigible crafts way the heck up there. Um, you know, it's probably where they get a lot of their space station footage or whatever. Um, you know, because all that, all the, you know, I've seen, you know, have you seen that picture? It's a, um, you know, it's one of the um, uh, space planes, you know, uh, classic, you know, space plane. And it's open and it's got an arm out and it's, you know, and it's over the earth. But it looks, it looks like a mile up, like it doesn't even look that far up. Like it looks like an airplane, like uh, like like I've been higher up in an airplane, <laughs> like and the ground looks way too close, you know, because you could you could see the detail of the farmland uh, underneath it. It's like this is from space. It's like oh really? I'm sure. I'm sure you can see that clearly too. But anyway, um, I got way off track. Uh, yeah, so China, no threat. They don't have the tech. Uh, North Korea, even less of a threat. Their their tech's even crappier. And Russia has nothing to gain. Uh, it would make them look bad. Uh, they would they would then have to deal with like a whole, whole bunch of people around them messing with them that are closer to them, possibly Israel. Uh, though I don't I, I don't think Israel is one of those allies that will like help you if you need help. I think they're just one of those people that bitch and moan and uh, you know start fights. And uh, you know you gotta you gotta pick up the tab, because um, you know they're they suck. It's a suck. <laughs> it's a suck fest. Um, anyway, uh, it's about it. Yeah. So, is any sort of uh, false flags? You know, high tech EMP from space bull crap. Um, I know. You know, my my listeners already know that there's that there's no space. Um, uh, the Earth is flat and stationary. Take a plane; it's easily it's 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 easily proven. It was proven like almost 200 years ago um, with using a, a telescope, flags, and a, a canal. Uh, it's flat and stationary. But anyway, um, just you know, people who are gonna be like, oh, you know, derp a derp, EMP from space. China can't make a rocket powerful enough for a jet engine for a, an airplane to um, comfortably leave an aircraft carrier 
let alone get anything into space. So there you go. Look into it. Um, you know, like I said, when you when you don't know how crappy your stuff is, you know, you'll 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 show it off not knowing how crappy it is. But uh, anyway, the uh, the aircraft carriers with the ramps are a laugh a riot. They're so funny. They're a joke. They're hilarious. Like they're they're embarrassing. They should be embarrassed. I would. I mean, like the thing's dead in the water anyway. I would just I would just leave it as is. Like the ramp just makes it look like a fun ride. It's a joke. Anyway, look into it. Uh, Chinese military, North Korean military, and just think about it for for a minute. Why why would Russia want to open that can of worms? Um, love you guys. Have a beautiful night, and God bless you.